Welcome to day 24. My name is John. Great to see you. Joining us today is Sean Durbin. What's up, bud? How are you? Good Glad to see you. Glad and, uh, to be here. Sean is on our church staff. He oversees uh, our leaders. We call them planters of missional communities. And you serve them, encourage them, equip them. Mm -hmm. uh, you drink a lot of coffee with them. I and do. eat meals with them. And thank you for what you do. I drink matcha with them. Matcha. That's right. That's right. But I do get a lot of drinks with them. So, That's right. Yeah. Matcha is, uh, it's your favorite green tea. It is. That's right. Absolutely. So, hey, we're talking about, as you know, every single day in the Lenten season, the Word of God. Mm -hmm. And we believe that everything can change when we spend daily time in God's Word. And so uh, Lent is this time of year that for many of us is a refocusing time. Uh, it's a time for some of you, it's like a restart. Some of you have drifted in your faith for years, perhaps, and a friend told you about this video devotional, and it's become like this restart for you, and we are thrilled about the stories that are coming in about how God is using this devotional. So welcome to day 24. Today, we're talking about one of my favorite stories in all of the Bible. Uh, if you have a Bible with you, you can open up to today's reading. We're going to look at the New Testament reading today, Shauners, and uh, we're going to look at Luke 8, starting in verse 20. Two. It says this, one day Jesus said to his disciples, let us go over to the other side, to the <laughs> other side. That's what we're going to talk about today. All right. We're going to talk about the other side. Some of you, uh, to date yourselves, when you heard that phrase, the other side, you thought, you thought about maybe the doors. Mm -hmm. This is way back. Yeah. Uh, predates us. Yes, it does. Uh, but we're going to talk about the other side. <laughs> and what we're seeing in the Gospel of Luke, we've been saying this, I've been saying this uh, most every day. If you were to give the Gospel of Luke a different title, a great working title would be Hope mm. for Everyone. Mm. And this is what we're seeing happen in the Gospel of Luke. From the very outset, Luke is helping us see that this king and his kingdom is for anyone and everyone that will call mm. upon the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. From the very beginning, we see from Elizabeth to Mary to the shepherds, mm -hmm. and now we're seeing Jesus. He's the son of man who came eating and drinking with sinners and tax collectors. And not only that, he is the king of every side. That's what we're about to see. Mm -hmm. So he says, Let, let's go over to the other side of the lake. Now, quick context, and then I'll keep reading. You and I were just talking about this, that Jews in their time, the disciples, yeah. they grew up hearing about the other side. Yeah. And that was the side they did not dare go. The other side was this place, 10 cities, Decapolis, uh, the Gerasenes, that Jews did not go. Hmm. It was 10 pagan cities. And so they believe that, okay, we're good as long as we stay on our side. Mm -hmm. And the Jews are very good at boundaries, <laughs> as we know. <laughs> but Jesus shocks them when he says, okay, um, it's time to go to the other side. They're like, wow. no, 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 no. Because they had all these stories, yeah. these myths even, as Jewish boys growing up hearing about what would happen on the other side. It was these pagan cities. It was dark over there. It was scary over there. It was not their place. Mm. And so this is the context. When you hear Jesus say to those disciples, let's go to the other side, you just got to understand the disciples weren't like, oh, yes. Oh, this is exciting. Mm -hmm. We've always heard and read on TripAdvisor how great the other <laughs> side is. No, they're like, no, 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 no. Let's stay on our side. Yeah. Jesus yeah. said, no, no, we're going to go to the other side. Now let's skip forward to verse 26. And so they end up going to the other side. They sail to the region of the Gerasenes, which is across the lake from Galilee. When Jesus stepped ashore, he was met by a demon-possessed man from the town. Mm. In this moment, their fears were not squelched. Their fears were actually realized. Mm. Yeah, scary. It was actually scarier than they thought it was going to be. Super scary. Super scary. Uh, so they meet this demon-possessed man from the town. Check this out. For a long time, this man had not worn clothes or lived in a house, but had lived in the tombs. Wow. I mean, this is one of the scariest <laughs> guys in the Bible. Yeah. And, and there they are on the other side. The disciples are literally shaking. Verse 28. When he saw Jesus, this is incredible. Check this out. He cried out and fell at his feet, shouting at the top of his voice, what do you want with me, Jesus? Check this out. Son of the Most High God. Wow. He recognized mm -hmm. who Jesus truly mm. was. A way to think about this story is this. This is a story of a man who everyone had given up on, and this is a story of a man who never gives up on anyone. Mm. This story is so moving. This guy uh, was at his, totally at rock bottom. Absolutely. Everyone had given up on him. He's living by himself, yet he cries out to God. I beg you, don't torture me. Check out verse 29. For Jesus had commanded the impure spirit to come out of the man. Many times it had seized him, and though he was chained hand and foot and kept under guard, he had broken his chains and had been driven by the demon 
into solitary places. Jesus asked him, what is your name? He responds, Legion, mm. which I want you to come back to explain that. Mm. He replied, because many demons had gone into him. And they begged Jesus repeatedly not to order them into the abyss. A couple more verses and then we'll stop. A large herd of pigs was feeding there on the hillside. The demons begged Jesus to let them go into the pigs and they gave them permission. When the demons came out of the man, they went into the pigs and the herd rushed down the steep bank into the lake and was drowned. Mm. This is the worst mm. story possible for the disciples. It's, it's, it's a story on the other side. Yeah. It involves a demon-possessed guy yeah. and pigs. They're like, no, no, and no. Yeah, we don't want to go over there because <laughs> it's going to be really scary. Yes. And then they get off the boat and they see probably the most scariest thing ever. Legion. Yeah. So let's talk about that. Legion, a loaded term. Yeah. They would have yeah. recognized that term as 3,000 to 6,000 Roman soldiers. Wow. Um, you know, the culture and government that ruled the world at that time. That's right. And Jesus shows what? Hmm. I have authority over Legion. <laughs> Legion comes to him and says, please yes. don't torment me. You are the son of hmm. the most high God. Hmm. It's very powerful. It's, empow it's incredible to think that what Luke is showing us is that King Jesus has authority on every side. He does. He really does. Mm -hmm. He is sovereign over all things. His power is over every power, over princip every principality. Mm -hmm. He he has this power. Mm. Legion falls at the feet yes. of Jesus, sends the demons out of him into the pigs. The pigs yeah. run off the cliff. Yeah. They drown, which is going to create a huge issue. This was an economic issue you can read about in your own time. Mm. Yep, they weren't happy about that. They weren't happy about that. Here's the question, Sean, I want us to really carry around with us today and every mm. person listening. Here it is. Yeah. Are you joining Jesus? on the other side. Yeah. Some of you listen to this, you're like, yeah, there, there's not a Decapolis. Well, we actually uh, call it the tent, by the way. <laughs> uh, some of you say, but yeah, you know, there's not this Gerasenes. No, but there really is. Yeah. Let's be honest. There is that area of your workplace. Mm -hmm. I know you don't call it the Decapolis or the Gerasenes, but it really is the other side. Mm -hmm. High school student, there is that hallway or there is that group of friends that you intentionally, strategically stay away from. You don't go to the other side. They dress different, they look different, they talk different. Mm -hmm. uh, we have the other side in our lives, in our neighborhoods. There are certain neighborhoods we don't go to. We, don't dri we drive around those. Yeah. Yet Jesus is the king of every side. The question is, are you joining Jesus on the other side? Uh, we say all the time at Mission that we worship the God of go. Amen. Yeah. He says go yeah. all throughout the scripture. The question is, are we saying Yes. yes. And so this is real time for, for you and Rachel and your kids. It is. Uh, you guys left a neighborhood that you loved dearly yep. next to family yep. and yep. Uh, a ton of experience and memories and all of that mm -hmm. to move here to the tent. Mm -hmm. And so real time, talk to us. I feel like it's uh, nicer than Decapolis. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. not, as, not as scary. Um, but of course, for the kids and for us, I was living right next door to my sister. Mm -hmm. And her kids loved seeing them and being a part of their life mm -hmm. and ministering to them yeah. and very special. But we knew um, that God was calling us here yeah. and that we wanted to be on mission and to, and I, I loved the, the borders and the focus of the town. Yeah. I was drawn to that. Yeah. And, and tell us real time, what is one thing you are learning about Jesus mm. as you and Rachel have said yes to join him on the other side. Yeah, so he doesn't leave you when he asks you to go. He's right there with you. That's and huge. we're feeling that real time. Um, we've, we've had difficulties, you know, getting the kids accustomed to things, difficulties with moving into the house. You know, the housing market's been really easy, right? Yeah, piece of and, cake. And once you get that house, <laughs> it's been super easy to find furniture. No, everything's on back order. Everything yeah. takes months and months and months. But I just keep telling Rachel mm. and I keep asking the Lord to continue to sustain us. And he yeah. has. Yeah. He yeah. has. Yeah. And you're experiencing that. And I think that's so powerful because, at least for me, and I think it's probably for all of us, when I ask you that question, are you joining Jesus on the other side? Immediately there's fear. Mm. Well, there was fear for the disciples too. Uh, maybe they were wondering once we get there, what if Jesus like, I don't know, like goes for another nap. Yeah. What if he goes to pray again and yeah. leaves us all by ourselves? And what we see in this story is what you're seeing in your story and what I've seen in my story is that when we say yes mm -hmm. to the God of go, to join Jesus on the other side, exactly as you said, he's with us. You that. In yeah. fact, this is one of his promises from the Great Commission. And surely I will be with you to the very end of the age. Yeah. You're experiencing that mm -hmm. on 
mission. Yeah, and it's great to know that when he's with us, he has authority over the most scary things. That's good. He has authority over legion, the loaded. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm guessing the neighbor you're going to meet in your neighborhood is going to be less scary than legion. I hope so. Yeah. But even if he isn't, <laughs> if it, I've got Jesus. We got Jesus. Amen. Hey, we've been referencing uh, a friend of ours, Hugh Halter, wrote this book a number of years ago, Flesh. Some of you are saying, what do I do once I get to the other side? You can read Flesh. Awesome, awesome content in it to help you understand what to do. But more than what to do is who will be with you when you get there. Yeah. His name is Jesus. Are you joining Jesus on the other side? Our hope, our prayer as a church, as your pastors, is that you would say, yes, I am and I will continue in increasing measure to join Jesus on the other side. That's all we have for today. We'll see you guys tomorrow.